In this video, we're going to talk about the independent and the dependent variables that you must use in your lab report. Just a reminding that the independent variable right here, it is the one that's causing the, the reaction. So this is the one that you're manipulating. A lot of kids get confused between what is the one being manipulated, what is the one that responds. So think of independent, independent variable as the one that is causing some kind of effect. So for instance, it's a temperature that is affecting if you're sweating or not. It is a pH that is changing your structure. It could be anything from an enzyme that is causing a breaking down of some food. So that's your independent variable. When it comes to dependent, that's the response. That's response, like because I changed the temperature, what was my response? Because I changed the pH, what was my response? Because I use a certain enzyme, what was my response? Response can be change of weight, it can be change of height, it can be change of, I don't know, what else is there, colors. These are different types of dependent response, depending on what you're gonna use. Now, here is another important thing when you're talking about independent variables. You need to have five variations of independent variables. So for instance, if you're using a temperature, you got to choose five variations of the temperature. So it can be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's five variations. But here's a very important thing. Variations have to be in increments that are good. So like I said, it's a 5, 10, 10, 15. There's a 5 in difference. Don't use 13, 14.5, 16. That kind of variation is bad and the lab results will be bad. So make sure there is a good range between these variations. So even for pHs, 2, four, six, eight, or concentrations, 10, 15, 20, or 10, 20, 30. Stay in a good range when it comes to these variations. But remember, there has to be five variations of your independent. When it comes to DV, which that means the dependent variable, you have to be able to measure it. So if, you, if your lab report is all about changing colors, the changing colors is just a qualitative result. It's a description. There has to be numbers in there. So make sure that your dependent is two types, one that you can get numbers and one that you can get descriptions. Most importantly, the numbers need to be there because that's how you're going to do all your graphing and all the stuff. So make sure that your dependent variable is measurable. And all of these is extremely important that you put when you write this on your lab report, like in this example right here, adding water, there should be five variations. Look, he put the five variations and the units in there. Be using what? The equipment. And you tell me what's the equipment. Now, what is missing in him is actually the uncertainty here, which I don't know what the equipment might be 10 ml. I don't know what it is. So make sure that you are putting the units there and you tell me what is the equipment used for that. So independent variable is not just about mentioning, oh, my independent is temperature. If you say that, it's too brief. So here's this rules. Put the independent variable, put the five variations, and put the equipment that you're using for that one. Same thing with the dependent variable here. You put the dependent variable, you put the units, and the equipment. So whatever the variable is, variation, whatever the unit is, and the equipment that you're using. That's how you stage for the independent variables. So we already know that the independent variable is the one manipulating the dependent variable. So here I'm going to give you examples again. So independent variable temperature, using a thermometer, and look at this, you have the five variations there, including the unit. Another one, dependent variable, the growth of plants, you'll be measured using what? A weight scale, and again, periods of time exposed. So again, you have to put them. Name of the variable, the variations there is for the independent, the units, and the equipment. If you do this, then you're good to go. So this is it for the video on dependent, dependent variables. On the next video, I'm going to talk about the control variables and the materials and how to write them in your lab report. So remember, with NERVI, you can get that seven, and I see you on the next video. Take care.